What up y'all, it's Keen here. And today in this video, we're gonna discuss the best equipment for TikTok videos. And for the new viewers, before you think I'm just another random person giving random advice, here is my account. I am currently at half a million followers. And as you know, there's plenty of accounts that are much bigger than I am, but I think I have enough authority to back up today's topic. And after trying to post hundreds and hundreds of videos, I think I found certain patterns on why some videos simply perform better than others. And I simply just want you to know from my perspective, what is the most important or bare minimum equipment that you need to start filming TikTok today? Number one, obviously you need a camera. And our equipment of choice is literally any smartphone camera today. Do not use a flip phone, those cameras are outdated and they film like potato. So you might think obviously iPhone first, but I gained over 250,000 followers using an outdated Samsung S8 Plus, which works perfectly fine. So any smartphone with a camera built in the front for selfies, and at least one camera built in the back is all you really need. And of course, if you're using today's smartphone, you probably don't need it, but they give you a lot more options. For example, there's three built-in cameras with a wide, normal, and telephoto focal length to give you more options. And most of today's camera has some sort of level of image stabilization capabilities that seriously help you out if you have really shaky hands. And I honestly don't think you need the latest smartphone, but on an advanced editing level, the fact that you're able to shoot 4K just gives you the option to just crop into the video just a lot more, just in case you mess up the shot. And also the quality of video at night is much more proof in case you wanna shoot something cool in the dark. So simply, the newer updates just gives you more options if you mess up. So the question is, do you really need the best iPhone or the best Android to make good TikToks? It helps. It's a nice plus, but any smartphone is good. Number two is good lighting. Except for a few rare exceptions, in order for the TikTok algorithm to figure out and categorize your video, the lighting needs to be on point. It can and it will pick up different phases and objects and it needs to categorize you. Are you a blogger? Are you a cooking channel, dancer, thirst trap, DIY channel, gaming? What are you? It's a little scary, but TikTok's AI engine is so good. So good lighting helps the algorithm figure out what kind of video you are so they can push your content to the right audience that wants to see your video and possibly increases chances of higher engagement and possible chances of going viral. If it's too dark, they might not know what it is, so TikTok can assume that inappropriate content and not put your video on the For You page. So don't blame shadow banning. Maybe it's the fact that you're not lighting your videos correctly in the first place. So the number one accessory that I would recommend is a ring light. So by definition, a ring light is a circle light that looks kind of like a donut that fits around the camera's lens and is large enough to shoot through it. So probably because you're gonna be filming up close, you want a light source that evenly lights up your face and gives you a flattering and dreamy look. And it does that by reducing the amount of shadows on your face and it minimizes blemishes, acne, and all that stuff while illuminating your eyes. So this is why they use so much in portraits, glamour shots, and of course today, TikToks. Because at the end of the day, we live in a vain society that unfortunately, people like to click and watch presentable faces. So having a ring light is really like extra foot in the door that helps you out so, so, so much. It also doubles up as a light stand so you can record your stuff at an eye level without propping on some random furniture or object nearby. And of course, the super light. And years ago, these lights were only used by professional photographers and videographers, especially for headshots because they were so expensive. And I never bought one myself because I never really shot enough to make that specific light worth the purchase. But today, obviously, they're really cheap and I bought this one on Amazon for $29.99. And really, you can buy any one that you want, but if you want the specific one that I got, check out the link in the description. And not super necessary, but a second light that I would recommend is the Selfie Ring Light. It's a smartphone attachment and obviously it's not as powerful as a standard ring light, but you sacrifice power and output for portability. But since I started doing a lot of TikTok lives, I think this ring light made it really possible for me to walk around and not get stuck in the same place. And it's so good. I generally try to bring it with me everywhere in my bag or my pocket if I'm out because it's just really tiny. So if I need some quick, nice lighting in a pinch that's better than my smartphone, and if I need to record a TikTok on the spot, it's there. So for $13.99, it's really served its purpose many, many times. And I know a lot of us try to purchase the most expensive thing but hear me out, expensive things usually just means better build and quality. And it means it just lasts longer, but it's 14 bucks. You're really not losing much. Just grab one of these and thank me later. The third thing you need is a decent stabilizer. So TikTok is a quantity game and you won't always have your friend, your family or significant other helping you out. So it's really nice to be able to just put your phone on something stable and eye level. So just from a psychological point of view, if you're talking into a camera at eye level, just like what I'm doing right now, it really connects you to the viewer on the other side. So in general, having a tripod really helps you adjust that height for what you need. And the best performing TikToks are the ones that really feels personal. It really feels like the person in the video is taking you on a journey with them. 
So when you speak at a high level, it's almost like you're speaking to the person in front of you, a friend. And if you do jump cuts and effects, obviously a tripod really helps you keep the previous frame so you can transition into the next frame seamlessly without breaking frame. So if you already have a ring light, have your work is already done. The ring light I discussed previously already has a spot for you to clamp down your phone. So you don't really need a tripod if you have that. But if you're outdoors and you need portability, literally any standard tripod is good to go. Expensive and cheap. And I apologize that I cannot show you any tripod because I'm literally filming this video with the only tripod I have in this room at the moment. So you don't even need an expensive one. Any cheap one does the job. They're made out of a really good material such as carbon fiber, which costs a ton of money, and they're fortified to be able to hold a ton of weight without any vibration. So if you're doing an expensive photo job or video job and you need some equipment that's guaranteed to work in the worst conditions possible, an expensive tripod is for you. But of course, you're shooting with a phone and not a heavy camera so that weighs only a few ounces and not several pounds or kilograms, so it's not necessary. So for the tripod, all you need is some sort of phone holder clip so you can attach this to your tripod. So for most people, a tripod might be a little bit overkill, but if you want to take portability to the next level, get a Gorillapod. These three-legged things are super flexible, their legs can bend any direction, and you could just wrap around any kind of object like a fence, pole, your backpack, or even your forehead. It's strong and tiny enough to toss into any backpack on the road. And also, if you hold your Gorillapod this way, you add an extra level of stability on your camera footage. And for the advanced folks out there, you could even turn it into a DIY shoulder rig. So I would recommend the light one or the medium because once again, you're using a phone and not anything heavier. And also, it's cheaper. So realistically, those are three things that you need to start doing TikToks and you really don't need much else. A phone, an external light source such as that ring light I recommended, and some sort of stabilizer such as a tripod or a gorilla pod. So you can really phone in and buy all these extravagant accessories, but at the end of the day, you're still gonna go back to defaulting to these three as a foundation. So you can look at all my cameras in the back and all these lights around me. These are really nice, but I stick to the basics a majority of the time. So go out there and go make some TikToks. And as always, if this video really helped you out, smash the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.